Hey guys, well today we are going to look at some different vocabulary that we can use to describe the different seasons in the year. Now I am sure that you know we have four seasons in a year, or at least we should have four seasons. Those four main seasons are spring, summer, autumn and winter. Again, spring, summer, autumn and winter. However, if you are speaking to a person from the United States of America, they may refer to the autumn as fall. But it's better to learn autumn. We generally categorize the 12 months of the year into three months per season. The three spring months are March, April and May. Summer, we think of June, July and August, so now in Malta. And autumn, September, October and November. And finally, winter being December, January and February. So, spring, summer, autumn and winter. How can we describe the weather at these different times of the year? Well, if you listen to the radio or if you watch a weather forecast on the television, you will often hear the newsreader or the weather forecaster using specific vocabulary at specific times of year. Um, I'm going to use the UK, the United Kingdom, as an example. As you know, I come from Scotland, and in Scotland we get a lot of rain. However, we do generally have four different seasons. Sometimes they come all in the one day, but no, I'm going to use the United Kingdom as an example. So, here are three adjectives that we can generally use to describe the weather in springtime. Fresh, bright and mild. Fresh, bright and mild. Fresh refers to the air quality. In the springtime, the air is very fresh, the winter is over and it's before the heat of summer, so we have good fresh air quality. Bright refers to the sunlight. Uh, the dark days of winter are past and the days are becoming longer. It is bright. Mild refers to temperature. Not too cold, not too hot, somewhere in between. Summer. It starts to get hot, referring to the temperature here. Humid, again related to temperature and uh, water in the air. Sunny, that beautiful yellow ball in the sky, the sun, which causes it to be sunny in the summertime, or at least we hope so. In the autumn, we might describe the weather as being damp, breezy, and dull. Damp, again, referring to water in the air. It's cold and it feels wet. The air feels wet. Dull, those bright summer lights are disappearing and the light feels low, it feels dull. There is not much light. Breezy, referring to the wind. The wind is perhaps getting stronger in the autumn and it's becoming breezy. Another way of saying windy. Then we come to winter, my favourite season. And we often think of the weather as being cold, chilly or frosty. Cold, referring to temperature, okay, is a cold day, the opposite of hot. Uh, chilly, another word to describe cold, it's ooh, a little bit chilly, a little bit more of a colloquial word, meaning not super cold, but yes, it is quite cold. And frosty, referring to that 
white hard substance which covers the grass or the ground in the winter time. When the water freezes on the grass or on leaves it creates frost, often happening overnight during the winter time. So here we have four seasons, 12 months and again 12 maybe new adjectives that you will commonly hear being used to describe the weather at these different times of the year. And for example with hot and with cold there are many different synonyms which you can learn uh, that also mean hot and cold and we can use to describe the weather. For example now in Malta it is July. Yes it is hot but I could say it's roasting, it's boiling, it's sweltering. Roasting boiling, sweltering, three other words which also mean hot. So why not try to search for some synonyms of these words and see if you can use them to describe the weather at these different points in the year. I don't know about you but it's getting a little bit too hot and humid for me here. I'm looking forward to those chilly frosty winter days in Scotland. Nice seeing you again guys. Uh, don't forget to like uh, this video and leave your comments in the box below and uh, keep up the good work.